Well, hello everybody, and thank you for joining us today at the Taste of Koshi. Today up on the block, we are going to be cooking our chicken papai. And I'm gonna show you a couple of things before we get started, because you know I've already done one for us. Started that at seven this morning. But usually before you make the pie, the night before, you wanna make your pie crust, unless you buy it. If you buy it, then you wanna get the Pillsbury in the box that's in a row, and that way it can roll out easy and put it in your pie sheet. So we're gonna come over here, I'm gonna show you the pie, because I just pulled it out the oven. So it's right here. Y'all see that? And I'm gonna show you how we got here. Hi, Velma. So if we come on over here, I'm gonna put on my gloves because uh, we're gonna start here. We're gonna learn how to make some pie crust today. And we're gonna learn how to make it from scratch. And it's not as hard as people say it is. So let's just jump right into it, okay? Get these gloves on, and I'm gonna do a couple of things. I'm gonna reach back here, and I'm gonna pull my my uh, rolling pin out of the refrigerator. And I use this rolling pin, a marble, and it keeps the pie crust nice and cold. Then I'm gonna pull our butter out and set it right here, because everything you want is ice cold when you're dealing with pie crust. I'm gonna put our water right here and it has ice in it. And then I'm going to pull out our butter Crisco, okay? So our butter Crisco is seven tablespoons, okay? And if you've never seen butter Crisco before, I will show you what that looks like. And I use it sometimes for a lot of baking. And I'll pull that out and bring it over here. So this is what your butter Crisco looks like. And you guys, it looks just like butter. Okay? Set that aside. And then we have unsalted butter for our crust because we're gonna add salt in there, so you don't want it too salty. And this is a cup of butter. In the, on the side, it tells you your tablespoons. It also tells you your one-fourth, one-third, and your half cup. So two of these would make one cup. And we need less, one tablespoon, to make that, okay? So we're gonna put that right here. Now, I put down some parchment paper, because I love working on parchment paper. And I put a little rubber oven mat underneath and that keeps everything from sliding. So now that we're ready, let's get started, okay? So here I've measured out two and one fourth cup of flowers. So I'm just gonna dump that in there. And then, this is our salt. I'm gonna dump that in there. And then with my hand, I'm gonna get in here and I'm gonna mix that all in here. I say, if you're good, you can use a food processor, and I do, but for my newcomers, we're gonna go this way. We're gonna make sure it gets done the right way, okay? So after you get that mixed in there, then you wanna open up your butter, <clears throat> okay? Get it nice and open here on all sides. And you can see right here on the back, we're gonna take off that, that one, uh, one tablespoon. I'm gonna pull that off, set that aside. I'm gonna go ahead and toss this and that'll be okay. And then I'm going to pull off the other side. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and cube, cube our butter up so it's easier for us to incorporate into our flour, okay? So 
So then after we get it down, I lay them down here together. And I'm just gonna slice down on, on it a couple of times across this way. Then I'm gonna come across this way and cube it up. That's what we're doing. Then I'm gonna roll it over on this sheet right here. And then I'm gonna cube it down this way. Can y'all see that? Just like that. Then I'm gonna bring it on over here and I'm gonna break it all up in here. Just like this. Okay. Then we're gonna take this, which is our seven tablespoons of our butter, and we're gonna drop that down in there. We move this out of our way. Okay. Now that we've done all of that, we're ready to start baking our dough. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna work this in by pinching it, just like this. And it doesn't take long, it, it goes pretty quickly. Okay? Just keep pinching it and working it in. Just like this. And what's gonna happen is, when you finish um, doing this, these are gonna look like little peas, about the size of little peas. And it takes a minute. And that's why you kinda wanna do it like the night before. If you're gonna make homemade. I like homemade, it's nothing like homemade. It's a different taste, everybody. Okay. I'm gonna keep that going, squeezing as we're going. And we're not making the flour tough, okay? We're just working in the butter. Okay. Get some of this up from the bottom, and you can see it's starting to form our little cubes and squish up some of your big pieces of butter. And uh, also, you can use, if you don't want to use your hand, this is called a pastry cutter, and it also helps to cut the butter in. And you just roll and rock, just like this. And that will help cut the butter in as well, okay? So there's three ways you could do this, okay? You could use the pastry knife and cut it in that way. You could use your hand and cut them in that way. Or you could use your Cuisinite and do it that way, which is a kitchen egg. Okay, so this is like what we're looking for. Okay? We're looking for this. See that? See that? Okay, so that's good. So now, after we get this done, now it's time to get everything else ready. So then, we're gonna take this, we're gonna crack an egg, here. We're going to take our vinegar, which is one tablespoon. Pour that in there. Okay. And I forgot to bring that fork. Let me get one. And we're going to whip this up just like that. See that? Then we're gonna take our ice water and we're gonna bring that up to one cup, which is right here. So, but we don't wanna let the ice in there. Okay, so bring this up to a cup. Okay, then we have no more use for that. Put it away. Now, give it a little stir. And now we're gonna make a little well here. Okay, and we're gonna start pouring this in. We don't want to pour it in a lot. We'll give it just a little right now. And you're going to work that in, just like that, and turn it. And what we're doing is we're going to try and get this to like, if you, if you ever played Play-Doh with your, your kids before, that's what you want. You want to get this to like a Play-Doh consistency. And you see we're almost there. And we did not use all of that water. 
See that? You just want it to hold together. See that? See how that holds together? Perfect. That's so, oh, that's so lovely. Look at that. Okay. Okay. Now you see all those beautiful pieces of butter in there? See those butters? That's going to make your crust look all pretty and healthy. Okay, so we don't need this. You see how much we have left? We're going to set it aside. So we're going to put this back here. We're going to get rid of these. And now, what we're going to do is we're going to flour our surface. Okay. So always keep me a little flour right here. And you're just going to bring it on out, just like this. See that? Not a whole lot. Rub it all around. You don't have to make a big mess. Then we're gonna roll this, our, uh, what do you call this? Our rolling pin <laughs> right into the flower. <laughs> I think that's what they call it. That's what they call it. <laughs> and then we're gonna take this and we're gonna dump it out, just like this, right onto this sheet. Okay, now, remember we're not cooking this, so we're gonna do it in a nice big ball, just like this. See that? Y'all see this? And then, we're gonna take what is called a pastry cutter, and get some flour on it. And we're gonna cut this into four pieces. Just like that. Y'all see that? And we're gonna take this, cause you don't wanna work with this now. And the reason we don't wanna work with this is because it's too soft now. So we want it to firm up. So let me pull these off. So now we're gonna put these in a nice plastic wrap. And we're gonna put those in the refrigerator and we'll let them cool, uh, cool down and harden up. But I already made some for us, so I'll show you. So I like to take mine and give it a little more roll like this. And you see it doesn't stick, and then pat it down a little, and then I'm gonna roll it. And I'm not gonna use my cutter because I need to allow myself to be able to pick it up quick with you guys. And now, it looks like this, okay? So that can go in your refrigerator if you're gonna use it the next day, or you can put it in your freezer. That's right, you can freeze your dough. Okay, put that like that. And that butter is gonna keep and it's gonna come out just perfect every time. Okay, I'm gonna take that and wrap all four of these up. One of these will make one pie crust. So you use one for the top, one for the bottom. So now we have made four pie crusts, okay? We'll get this one wrapped up. We don't want to waste it. And then I'm going to pull out the one we already have because we want it to sit out about 15 minutes prior to using it, okay? Which I made last night when I made this one over here. Okay. There we go. How we doing everybody? Everybody with me so far? All right. Now, we're through with that. Now guess where we're going. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna set it right there. I'm gonna take this. 
We'll bring up both sides. Makes cleaning up easy. And you can dump it in the trash, but guess what? We're gonna need it because we gotta roll out stuff, right? Bring my flour back. That'll be for the next session. I'm gonna get the one we made. See here how, see that? How it's nice and firm. See that? We're gonna come back to it in just a minute. But we're gonna put these in the refrigerator. And now we're gonna come over here and make our filling. So follow you around, Dad. All around. Yes. All right. So here we are. Let me rinse my hands off. me a little sip of tea and I'm ready for you. First thing we're going to do is get the fire going. So we get us a hot pot. Okay? Now, you, for this, you want to have three cups of your chicken broth. You're going to peel your red potatoes. I like the red potatoes because they're a little firmer, so they hold up better. So you're going to get about three medium red potatoes peel them, and three medium carrots. And you want fresh carrots, don't you? Got, you guys, please don't buy those pre-cut because they taste like dirt when you cook them. When you buy the real carrots, they're sweet, okay? So I've already done this part for you. So what we did was we peeled and cubed up our potato, okay? And I boiled them in water until they became soft um, with the carrots. Then I took my frozen peas and my corn out of the freezer and let them thaw out. A cup of each. There it is. Okay. A cup of each. And then here's our onion. It's one medium onion, and you're going to use a half of it cubed up, just like that, okay? Then we're going to take our butter, and we're going to drop that in our pot. Now, I also roasted the night before a chicken. Uh, you don't have to put any seasoning on it. Just roast it up, okay? And uh, because once it's done... You're gonna cool that down, and you're gonna take all the bones. You're gonna debone it, and you're gonna take the skin off of it. And you're gonna use all the chicken, okay? Except for them little wings in the back, okay? And you're gonna get that. Keep it up, okay? There. Let's get our butter down here and get it started to get melted. And then we're going to add our onions in here and we're gonna let our onions start to get a little clear and tender, okay? Okay, turn that fire up and get these going just like this, okay? And you guys, you know, once you make this, you can always freeze this, and then your dough is frozen, and when you fam your family wants a, a pie, you just pull it out, okay? And then you make it. So, now we're going to add in our flour, and I'm going to get a little whisk out here. And we're going to take this flour, drop it right down in there and let it start doing what it does, okay? There won't be any lumps in it, because remember, we've got way over for the equal parts. Hi, Johnny. Hello, Mom. Hey, Roxanne. All right, guys. 
Now, as soon as this starts going, and remember, we want it to be light, so we're not trying to get a dark color on this roux. Only thing we're trying to do now is just to cook our flour a little bit. Okay, so that won't be gritty. Okay, so while this is cooking up and our onions are getting a little light, hi Shalia, we're gonna go ahead and add our seasoning, which is our poultry seasoning, one teaspoon, our black pepper, our salt. And if you guys don't wanna add the sugar, you don't have to. And the, and the sugar, okay? I always like to add a little sugar. You can't really taste it. And that little two teaspoons, not gonna do too much, okay? But it'll show make it taste good, yeah. You all know butter and sugar go together. Yes. All right, ooh, you guys should smell this. That poetry season just kicks it up a notch. Yes, it does. Oh, thank you, Roxanne. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, we're making sure that this is not gritty. Hi, Velma. Velma, you are always here. You're my favorite viewer. Okay? So, now that we have this done, you guys, what we're going to do now is we're going to gather our chicken stock, okay? Hi, Dana. And we're gonna go ahead and pour that in. You make sure it doesn't splash up on you. There we go. And we got that in there. And then right away, we're gonna add our heavy cream. Okay. Get our heavy cream in here. Okay. I like to get it all out. Hi, Ivy. And we're gonna get this stirred up here. Now, what that's gonna do now, because we have our butter in there, and we have put our stock in there, and we have our heavy cream in there, this is gonna thicken. So as it comes to a boil, it's gonna start thickening. This is how we get our nice, beautiful gravy for our pie. You guys can see how loose this is right now. See this? And you'll notice it because see the back of the spoon's not coated yet. So as it starts to thicken, that's when you, you know it's, it's time to start adding the other stuff, okay? So now, you wanna taste it at this point. Just a little back, and that tastes good to me. We don't need to add a thing. But like I said, everybody's palate is different. So at this point, if you need a little more salt or pepper, or you want some more poetry seasoning, uh, now is the time to add it. And this is poetry seasoning, okay? So it's already in there for you all nice and snug in a jar. It's sort of like a sage, okay? Look, it doesn't take long, you guys. See this? Look at here. See, we're already starting to thicken. Y'all see that? Look at that. See the spoon? See the difference on the spoon? Yes, indeed. That's goodness happening. Hey, Yolanda. So at this point, it is time to add the, the wonderful dish dishes to it. So we're going to put in our cubed potatoes. Because y'all remember, everything is already done. Our peas, our beautiful carrots. Look at that. Look at that. Our corn. Because remember, we pre-cooked everything. And then, our chicken. Oh my goodness. Let's get it all stirred in here. Get rid of these. Look at this, you guys. 
and get it all stirred up. Oh my God, can you taste it? Woo, this is done. The fire is off. Guess what? It is time to make a pie. So let's come on back over here. Come on back over here. Now here we are. Now remember, we already made our pie crust. Okay? That's gonna make a whole family pie. So like I told you, what you don't use, you freeze. Okay? So we're gonna do some ramekins. We're gonna do some ramekins. Hi, Allison. So this is a ramekin, y'all. This is what I call like a little personal pie. You know, like you have a personal pan pizza. Mm -hmm. So here's our crust already done. And same thing applies. We're going to put this in two fours. So one and two. Okay? Now, you know that that little pie don't need all of this. Probably half of that for the bottom and the top. But we're going to go ahead and do it, and then we'll cut it off just so you can see what it makes. How about that? Okay, so I'm going to slide this over here. Give it a little flour now. Roll it around. Get this done. Wiped off good. Roll it in here. It's still nice and ice cold. Then we're going to get this. Play with it a little. Get in a little ball. Smush it. Set it down. Sprinkle just a little flour on top. There we go. Pat it around. Pat it around. Roll the sides. I tell you, it's like playing with kids and play doh Look at the weight of this will help roll this out for you. Then you want to keep going in all directions. Back and forth. See that? Then you're going to flour. Roll over. Go again. This direction. This direction. Because you know we're trying to get a circle. And you don't want it too thick. Okay? One down, one to go. So then I have this uh, Mozzola cooking oil spray, and I just give a little spray on each one. A little spray. One dab of do you. Put me just a little bit in here. Shake it around on the bottom. Turn it on the side. Pat it. Arrow. Arrow. Gonna go all the way around. Okay, I hate for my crust not to come out. Cause when I eat, I want all my crust, okay? So we can do the same thing here. Pat, shake it around, turn it to the side, and roll, 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 and roll. And dump the rest. There you go. So, now, when I'm making a big pie, y'all, I will pick this up and roll it over onto my pie sheet, okay? Now these are cutters to make little tarts and apple fries and everything, and it fits perfectly over. So when you use these, say like we're making this crust because we're gonna make a Jamaican pie. So we're gonna put some turmeric in this. It's gonna change the color. You'll take this side, and you put it down just like this. You see here? And that will be the top. And then it goes right in here like that. Then you'll stuff it and fold it over. Y'all hear me? So you learned two things today, right? We are gonna keep it pushing. So the same dough we're gonna squish back up. Bring this over here. Gonna pat some there, pat some there. 
So now we're gonna squeeze and roll it out again. West not want none, honey. We want it all. We don't throw away stuff here. Put some little more flour down here. Shake it around and flip it over. And this we're making for the inside, okay? Get the inside, just like this. And then we're gonna take this and put it right in here, just like that. See that? Now, no, most people will take a cup and put in there. We don't need a cup. We just gonna use our knuckle, just like that. See that? See that? We're not gonna cut those sides off yet, because I'm gonna tell you why. Then we're gonna come over here. Bring this on over here. Come on. Come on. Then we're gonna take this just like this. And we're gonna, we're gonna be oh so generous. Mm -hmm. And make sure that we get some of everything in there. Everything. Including some liquid. See that? Then we're gonna come back over here. Y'all come back over here. Here we come. Yes. Mm -hmm. We're gonna take us a little water. Did I throw away my little brush? <laughs> oh, here it is. It's right here. But we'll get this one. I'm just gonna take a little water here. And I'm just gonna dab just a little bit around. Okay? Because we just want it to stick when we put that up there. Now you can leave that crust hanging over there like that and make it real pretty. Or you could cut it off and roll it. Then you take this piece right here and you set that right on top, just like that. And you're gonna squeeze it down. Squeeze it down. And I like to do mine like this when I'm making a ramekin. Now, if I'm making the pie over there, the family pie, I will cut. I will cut like this all the way around and make it pretty. Hi, Carol. Cut it all the way around like that. Cut it around just like that. Mm hmm. And then you're going to roll, roll, roll it around, see? Now you can do it both ways. Now you can let it hang like I showed you and use that extra crust or you roll it around just like this. There's a couple of ways to do this, okay? Just like that. Now you can pinch, but I like to just use a fork. And I'll go around it, just like this. Squeeze it in. I love it when it hangs on a ramekin, though. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. It makes it so pretty when it comes out and crispy. But I'm showing you how to make a family pie. But I did show you what you could do with the ramekin. Okay, y'all see that? Okay. Then, you take you anything that you have that has like a little hole in it. And I have a couple. I'll dip it right here in the flour. And I'll take it and push it right there in the center. Just like that. Put me a nice little hole in it. Then I'll take me a little knife. And I'll put me some little slits. Because, you know... You have to do that because if not, your pie be bubbling all over the place, okay? And so this goes in the oven at three, at 425, okay? And then when it's almost done, when it's almost done, we're going to put a wash on it. Hi, Kelly. Okay, so did you guys see this? Did you see that? Okay. We just set it right in here. I always put a drip pan 
And then you want to set your timer for like 25 minutes, okay? I'm going to set my timer. That way we don't burn it. Because y'all ain't going to see this one. <laughs> so let me get my timer. <laughs> That's a 25 minutes. Because you know everything's cooked, right? We're just what? Cooking our crust. All right. So, I just set all this aside and I'll roll it later. Because we're going to play the, because we've had enough fun. Uh, if you guys have any questions on how to make that dough, the pie crust, anybody have any questions on it? It's very easy. You guys, make sure you share me out. Send me some love. Put some hearts up there and some little chefs. Let me know you appreciate it. Oh my God. Okay, so now, here's a tip. You want your pie to come out pretty looking like this and you're gonna take one egg yolk, one tablespoon of water and whip it up really good. Then you're gonna take a pastry brush you're going to rub it all around it. And that's after you cook it. Okay? And put it back in the oven. Okay? You're going to get this pretty color. Now, in order to get that beautiful crust, see that on the bottom? You got to cook it a little longer. So what you do for another 10 or 15 minutes, you put a tent around this so this doesn't brown anymore. And then that allows just the bottom to cook, okay? Let's get into it. Let's give it a cut. Oh my, Ooh. Wow, it's nice and cooled off because it's been waiting for us. Let's go down here and get us a slice. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, wow. Y'all, it ain't dry. Mm, 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 mm. It is not dry. I want a spoon. I want a spoon. Look at that. Ooh, hi, Grace. Look, guys. Oh, look at that crust. Can y'all see the crust? Look at the flakiness of the crust. Look at that. Y'all got to make this pie crust. Let's get a little taste. Papa, you want one? You go first, I'll go second. No, you go first, baby. Ooh, I gotta talk, you go first. Okay. What you think? Mm. What you think? Mm. Mm. Can y'all smell it? <laughs> I can't even talk, it's so good. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> Look, you see, and this, see this? Oh, that crust is good. You see the chunks? You wanna taste your potato, you wanna, you wanna be able to see your chicken, you wanna be able to see everything in your pie. Your chicken, see your chicken? You wanna be able to see, you know how you go get a pie and you say, this pie don't have no chicken, don't have no potato. What kind of pie is this? This is a chicken plus pie. Lord have mercy. Well, y'all. <laughs> Carol says she's gonna make it, that's for sure. Huh? Y'all make this crust. Don't kill your family here. Don't make it every day. Say, like you learn how to make some good crust, you be like, ooh, I'm gonna make an apple pie. Ooh, I'm gonna make a peach cobbler. Ooh, 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 I'm gonna make a berry, berry, berry. Take it slow. You ain't gonna forget how to make it. Cause it's written down for you. Okay, well that's it, y'all. I hope you enjoyed it today. Look, I didn't make no music. Y'all look around, we still in a big mess here with the flood. So that's why I said, you know, I'm all stressed out just trying to get through the days, okay? So I can't be doing pop-ups on, on Fridays, but we'll get back to it. Things will get back to normal. You guys just keep making me a list and let me know. I haven't even planned as far as next Wednesday. So if you guys have some suggestions on what you think you might want me to cook, 
I'll write a recipe for it and get to it. Just all you got to do is let me know. I want to thank everybody for joining in today on the family uh, chicken pot pie. I want to like to thank the new people for coming and showing us some love and the old people for coming back. I really, really appreciate it. I really enjoy doing this. Eventually, I am going to set up a website. I am going to have a cookbook. And I am going to sell my recipe. So y'all better get them while they're free. Better get them while they're free.com. Okay, I love y'all. Thank you for tuning in. Y'all have a nice week, okay? Bye-bye now. Jambalaya. Woo-hoo! Oh, I heard that jambalaya. That sounds good. I haven't made that yet. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you guys. Thank you so much. Bye-bye now.